Arr! Captain Jack Sparrow be back in yet another swashbuckling pirate adventure on the high seas. But will audiences be rewarded with cinematic treasure? Or will they leave feeling as though they've been plundered? Find out right now on Movieology. Welcome to Movieology, your ticket to engaging the spectacular world of film from the bedrock of biblical truth. I'm your host, Stuart Adams. You can interact with Movieology on our website, our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and our Twitter. Email us at info at movieology.tv and be sure to sign up for Movieology's newsletter by going to our website subscriptions page. With that, let's get on with the review. Savvy? After crossing paths with Angelica, a woman from his past, Sparrow is not sure if it's love or if she's just a ruthless con artist who's using him to find the fabled fountain of youth. When she forces him aboard the Queen Anne's Revenge, the ship of the formidable pirate Blackbeard, Jack finds himself on an unexpected adventure in which he doesn't know who to fear more, Blackbeard or Angelica. To complicate the situation, King George has commissioned Barbosa as a privateer to find the fountain and uncover its secrets while the leaders of Spain also join in the pursuit. On Stranger Ties stars Johnny Depp, Penelope Cruz, Jeffrey Rush, and Ian McShane, and was directed by Rob Marshall. I really enjoyed the original Pirates of the Caribbean movie. It was fresh, witty, and for many movie watchers, it was an unexpected surprise. It is now eight years later, four years since the release of the third entry at World's End, and the franchise has reached an all-time low on Stranger Tides. The production quality is fantastic, including the acting, set pieces, action sequences, and the epic scale of the locales. This can be largely attributed to its inflated budget of $250 million combined with the bottomless resources of the Disney machine. On Stranger Tides feels like a pirate's movie. So diehard fans of the series will likely enjoy it, as will those who are looking for a mindless popcorn flick. At the forefront of On Stranger Tides is the character of Jack Sparrow, who is just as ridiculous, over the top, and altogether outlandish as you remember him, if not more so. In the original film, The Curse of the Black Pearl, the story was able to balance the crazy with realistic characters who had depth and whom the audience cared about. Will Turner, Elizabeth Swan, and Commodore Norrington provided a smooth contrast to the wild antics of Captain Sparrow, and sadly, On Stranger Tides completely lacks this element. Barbosa, Angelica, Blackbeard, Gibbs, and even King George are all caricature-like archetypes that seem more like cartoon characters than real people. The result is a film that can't be taken seriously as it drowns in an ocean of its own silliness. In addition to this, the movie tries really hard to be complex by throwing in thematic artifacts and never explaining the why or how. Somehow Blackbeard is able to control the rigging and sails of his ship telekinetically using his sword. He also zombified his crew so that they couldn't be killed. Mermaids are based on the old sailor superstition, but for some reason when they are brought onto land, their fish fins melt away into human legs, but they can't walk on them. These are just a few of the many plot points that are an integral part of the story and are never given any explanation. The audience is asked to simply assume it works, and the amount of disbelief suspension necessary to do so is astronomical. On Stranger Tides makes a considerable effort to include numerous religious references throughout the film. There are obvious signs of the occult, including voodoo dolls, the undead, vampire-like creatures, and the end goal of the story includes a ceremony called the Profane Ritual, which involves two chalices and a mermaid's tear in order to tap the life-giving powers of the Fountain of Youth. On the other hand, Stranger Tides introduces the new character, Philip, who is presented as a steadfastly faith-filled missionary that believes in the possibility of redemption for all. He was kidnapped and forced onto the Queen Anne's Revenge by Angelica, who wishes for her father Blackbeard's soul to be saved because all the evil he has done. This raises some eyebrows as Angelica herself is a lying, scheming, pirating scallywag, yet she is only concerned with the soul of Blackbeard because he is the worst scallywag of all. Once again, we have a clear-cut message of only the most evil people are really villains. 
The significance of Philip's character is made inert when he denies his one mantra and states that Blackbeard is too far gone and his soul cannot be saved. This is absolutely contrary to the gospel message and implies that the atoning power of Christ is insufficient to save someone because they are too sinful. The missionary's character is further weakened when he falls in love with a mermaid, is pulled under the water by her, and isn't seen again for the rest of the movie. American Vision is dedicated to restoring America's biblical foundation. They have invaluable resources for history, apologetics, eschatology, and worldview studies. As a movieology fan, you are treated to 10% off all purchases at AmericanVision.com when you use the coupon code HOLLYWOOD at checkout. American Vision is the ministry that will help you understand the world you live in, so check them out at AmericanVision.com. When it's all said and done, On Stranger Tides is just another pirate movie. The motivations behind almost all the characters is only ever self-centered, as each decision is weighed by how it benefits the character at that time. Loyalties change quickly and often, and there is no sense of morality. Even the one seemingly selfless act performed by Sparrow at the climax of the film is performed only to serve his own interests. I give Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides one star for being an underwhelming film that will entertain some and tries to be philosophical, but ultimately presents us with nothing of any real value. Or to put it another way, this movie is really bad eggs. If you have any questions or comments regarding this film, please email us at info at movieology.tv or you can message us on YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter. Until next time, I'm Stuart Adams. Thanks for watching. The cinematic treasure? Or will they leave as feeling as if they're really... <laughs> That's really hard to do. Swish, swish. Clang, clang. <laughs> I feel like my face is going to get stuck this way. Or will they find as though they... Will they leave, leave. It's really hard to read with my eyes squinting like this. You can use it as a battering ram club. thematic artifacts and never explaining the hi, hi or wow. The hi or wow. Hi. Wow.